Hello, welcome to Code Zero, a series of videos that explores the world of code. My name is Pragma, and I make things with Zim. Zim creator Dr. Abstract is about to Code Zero with you. He can get a bit philosophical at times, but he promised he will be practical. Have a great time learning about code. Everything starts at zero. Hello, welcome, I am Dr. Abstract, and thank you for that introduction, Pragma. Here at Code Zero, we're going to talk about code. So what is code? Well, that's code. What does this code mean? Question mark. Ah, yes, that is code for a question. So code is when we use symbols or uh, these are symbols as well. Those are called letters. <laughs> That's a word. When we use symbols to represent something. So here we're representing a question mark. As a matter of fact, our language could be considered code. This is code <laughs> for code. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> and there's code in the fact that these are separated by spaces. That means those are different words and so forth. So code. There's another word for representing something, and that's a map. A map isn't the world, but we can have a map of the world, or we can map other things as well. And there's other words for mapping and for code and for representing, and such as model. When we model something, uh, we know models from models that uh, are fashion models, for instance. The person, the model, is representing all people. It's a model person, and then we use them to put <laughs> fashion on. Um, we also model in clay. When we make things in clay, it's not the real thing we're making, but a model of it. It's a representation code. Sometimes when we hear the word code, we think of secret code. And that's a little bit different. That's where we might put uh, JJ, something like that. That's a code. <laughs> we, we don't know what it means. Uh, but there's a way to find out. And indeed, when we code in the computer, some of it looks a little bit like that. We're going, oh my goodness, what are we writing there? If you were to glance at it and not know anything, you might say that's a secret code. But we're trying to make it not secret. So um, we'll try as hard as we can here to create code and tell you everything about it so that it's not secret anymore. Okay, when we make things, if you think about what we make, it's pretty neat. Okay, here, let me just show you. We make things like games and simulations. And games are just like life, aren't they? In many, in many ways. They map life in many ways, whether they're sports games or <laughs> war games or games of peace. Hopefully there are some fun games of peace as well and simulations as well. So we make code that acts very much like life. Um, we might do simulations for like a flight simulator, and that's how people can learn and match and map life. So we're making code that models life. Life. And code that models life is really a philosophy. Philosophy. We have very logical people modeling life, saying, hey, what is life like? What is it made from? As much as possible when we code, we are making it much like life, as much like life, because <laughs> often we're modeling life. So if you think of artificial intelligence, for instance, there's that, and that's in code. And we use object-oriented programming, where we treat things in code as objects, we give them properties, and we let them do things, very much like objects in life. Of course, there's uh, objects that are alive, <laughs> objects that are dead. When we say objects, we sometimes don't include people as objects or animals as objects, but they, they are. And so 
object-oriented code models life. And we treat this very much like a philosophy at Zim. The philosophy is called nodism. If we code, then we are nodists. And part of the nodist colony. <laughs> is that fun? Now, in taking this philosophical approach, I think that will help us code. We're not just remembering things. We're going to see things in a different light as we talk in code zero. So this has been the first one. In the next one, tell you what, I promise we'll see something show up. We'll do some code and then we'll look at the results. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day and please come on back for more Code Zero. Bye-bye.